Hello, welcome to Indie Tutorials. My name is Guillermo and I would like to thank the patrons supporting this channel. Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at spawning the player in the scene. The first thing that we need is to go to window and add a spawn point. So we choose here machinums in wizard. And then we need to go to create game object and we can start typing a spawn and then we have this spawn, spawn point game object so let's create one on the scene and let's uh, reset the position to zero okay in the options for the for the spawn point we can leave the spawn id to zero and we can leave place on ground basically everything as it is right the next thing we want is to our player we already made a prefab out of it so if we select where the prefab is it's here we need to add it to the org framework editor and register it as a combatant so for that let's open up the machinum editor and if we go to the combatant section then we click again into the combatants subsection and in the data list we have a default combatant so from here we can edit the name and let's add here player and click ok if we scroll down we see here in this base settings we have the prefab settings and this is where we need to add our prefab so just let me drag this window a little bit and then I can drag this prefab in this slot let's save the settings and the last thing that we need is to add the schematics to actually add this player to the active group and spawn it so let's select the section for the schematics let's make a little bit of room right click and start typing active uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. not active but join group and from the options we want the player to join the active player group and then, then uh, we need to assign the combatant here so we select our combatant player we can leave everything as it is by, for now and lastly the next node will be to actually spawn the player right so let's select spawn and uh, make sure to select spawn org player we have a spawn player but this is a uh, machinom um, if you were making a game with machinom i think there is actually no much of difference because internally i think it will be uh, it will do the same thing but just make sure to select spawn org player and link the nodes together and here in this spawn at of course spawn point and spawn point index zero right so let's save the schematic let's go to our main folder and create here a new folder for schematics and let's call this one spawn player schematic there we go all right so now we have uh, created this point point we have the prefab for the player we have the combatant we have the schematic now we need to uh, to find a place to run this schematic so we have two options here we could go to let me close this for a second we go 
uh, we could go to the org game starter and you can see that it's asking here for a start schematic asset we could do that so like like let's say drag the schematic in this slot and that will be fine so if I were to hide my player save the scene control P to start play mode and the player spawn right or just in case we forgot to um, uh, to, to not use this, this schematic here let me just clear out and Ctrl Alt M to open the editor we can do it also if we work if we go to the UI section then we have the start menu subsection and from here in the new game settings we also have a way to set here the starting schematic so let's just drag this one here save the settings and let me put play mode to focus and if I were to click on control P there we go so the players spawn okay but what happened now the camera has lost reference to our player, right? And we need to fix that. So let me stop play mode. And for that, we need to import from the org site the uh, org cinemachine bridge script. Okay, so to download this script, we need to head up. Uh, into the old framework site then we can uh, choose here in showcase sorry guide guide documentation and then in here in the getting started we have this section player camera controls click on that one scroll down and we see example cinemachine camera controller click on that one and then we have this download link to get this uh, wrapper component so click on that and download the component once you have downloaded the uh, package, the Unity package, you can just drag or double click it to open the import Unity package and just click on import. Okay, so this will create a new script that we can find under Game is Love, Machinom 2 plugins scripts orc cinemachine camera control wrapper so what we need to do is select our main camera and where we have this cinemachine brain we need to add this script to this to this game object okay and it's uh, that will be uh, everything that we need to do to do except that we need to fix the follow target and look at target by default this script uh, looks like it was created with uh, a top-down type of game in mind where both the follow target and look at target is the transform of the uh, game object the, the player and in that case in our case it will be at the fit of the player so we need to fix that and for that what we can do uh, one way to do it is uh, tell this uh, script that our uh, look at is going to be the player camera look that we created here right so uh, the way I like to do it instead of uh, doing like uh, from the player find the game object that has the name player camera look and use that I like to use a, let's say a dummy script that we can uh, use to search game objects so let's create here in our script folder gameplay behaviors characters let's create an another folder and let's call it uh, camera camera and inside the camera let's create another script and let's call it uh, 
Cine machine. Look at me. You can name it whatever you want, of course. And let's. Uh, this is all what we need in these scripts, actually. So what we need to do is go to our player camera look. So let's select the prefab here and open the prefab. And from the prefab, select the player camera look and add this script to it. Let's go back to the scene. And from the Orc Cinemachine Camera Wrapper, we need to edit the script. So let's select the component Edit Script and let's wait Visual Studio or Writer or Notepad++ to open and make some changes. Okay, so once the script is open, let's scroll down and uh, here in the start, we get the component Cinemachine or the camera and we have this camera target change event or method where uh, the follow and look at target are being set. So this is the place where we need to make the changes. So the new target is a game object. This game object is our player. And we need to search the player camera look. So this is a child component on the player. So from here, if we go to the look at new target, we remove this transform for, for now and set dot get component in children of type and here we pass our cine machine look at me we were using the namespace so we that we need to add the namespace so raster games cine machine look at me when we found when we find this component we need to select the transform of this uh, the game object of the uh, of the comp of the game object where the component is located at okay so let's save the changes in the script go back to the scene let it compile click play And voila, camera is following again. So these are the basic steps to spawn a player using Orc Framework or let Orc Framework be a knowledge that we are using a new combatant here. On the next video, we are going to improve a little bit uh, this spawn uh, event or uh, steps in order to get uh, nice uh, visual effects, audio sources uh, to play sound when we spawn and also add a new um, respawn animation that we can use. But also, uh, since we are here, let me just clean up a little bit more the scene and I will add my Cinema Sheen free look camera. I will create here a new children so create empty game object i'm going to uh, rename this virtual cameras and i will drag this one here click save and it's looking more clean now so thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next video